Welcome everyone on Deck Bros, a channel dedicated to the Steam Deck. In this series, we'll be testing just about every game in our Steam library from A to Z, showing off our recommended settings to give you the best experience and to answer the question, will it deck? Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is next up and is an action role-playing game based on the popular anime and manga series Dragon Ball Z in which players follow the story of Goku as he and the Z fighters train to protect the Earth from various enemies. The power level is pretty solid with this one on Steam Deck, not gonna lie. Before we get almost saying God levels, that DBZ fans have wished upon the Dragon Balls for. I mean, one could say that even transformed my expectations to the highest levels imaginable. Get it? Because power level transformation because because it's, it's dragon ball z nailed it all right enough bad jokes let's uh let's get moving and head over to the quick settings right that took way too long i need to hurry i know i know the frame rate limit is set to 60 fps along with the refresh rate half ray shading tdp limit and manual gpu clock are untouched I also left the scaling filter alone as the game ran fine without it. I did provide some settings in the pinned comment below that include uses of the scaling filter, but as always, I'll let you decide what works best for you. As for the game settings, screen resolution is set to 1280 by 720 temporal AA for anti-aliasing, shadows, and V-Sync are off. V-Sync seems to cause some micro stutters, but go ahead and try it out for yourself if you want to see what I mean. Window mode is also on full screen. All of the gameplay you see here is being run with the refresh rate set to 60 FPS, which holds quite well, even during combat. But you will see dips if you're flying or walking through cities in maps like uh, West City. But you can absolutely run the game in the 40s or 50s if battery drain is your concern. But, I mean, look at it. We all can agree on 60 FPS not looking that bad, right? Speaking of battery drain, running the game this way does hit the battery a little bit. Uh, you can see the difference in battery drain between the three refresh rate settings, but personally, I don't always get to play for hours on end, so battery life isn't always that much of a concern for me. Perfect timing, Gohan. <laughs> it's ready. Not fair. Make me one, Mom. Never mind. I don't want one. When it comes to DBZ Kakarot, it absolutely decks. It's an incredible game that takes you from the Saiyan Saga all the way to the Tournament of Power, but it also includes spin-off stories featuring the history of Trunks and, depending on when you see this, a retelling of Bardock's story and his stand against the mighty Frieza. Yeah! Thanks for watching our Will It Deck episode featuring Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We hope you found our recommended settings and performance analysis helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more Steam Deck content, and we'd also love to hear your thoughts on the game and your own experiences with it on the Steam Deck. So uh, please leave us a comment down below. Uh, check out this fight with a tough enemy or two where I totally didn't edit out most of the moments I get slapped. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. you'd be nailed it <laughs>